I'm uh, Ghislain Poirier, I'm from Montreal and I'm in London right now. I'm here. Um, I read stuff on Ninja Toon, Chocolate Industries, uh, Shark Out, Introversion, 12K, Music Large, ZZK or ZZK, depending on the way they spell it. I'm Jack, Jack Master. I'm from Glasgow and I'm at the Red Bull Music Academy, 2010, London. We actually met in a dark club in a basement. Yeah, many years ago. In Glasgow. Yeah. It was raining. Always. <laughs> in Glasgow, I'm a party promoter, DJ. Um, <clears throat> I work for a music distribution company called Rubberdub. We mostly sell uh, old school vinyl. Um, what else do I do? That's about it. I drink a lot. <laughs> party. <laughs> that, that's already the question. Was the cliche about uh, the Scottish people? Right. And also, I run my own record label, which is called Numbers, which is the same name as my club. Maybe three years ago, I got quite heavily into kind of quite party-based music, like you, some people would call it booty uh, or like bass music. Also, sounds that were coming out of Baltimore at the time, um, called Be More Club. I started a label solely for that sort of. Um, umbrella of music, which is called Dress to Sweat. Uh, I also ran a more kind of electronic based label called Wireblock with a couple of my friends. And my friend Richard, who also works at Rubber Dub, had a label called Stuff Records. All of us together ran, ran the club, and for a long time we'd been trying to work out how to focus all our energies into uh, one label because we were always arguing over the same artists and same people to do remixes and stuff like that. So we just decided let's just fold all the labels and just numbers will be the new name for everything from now on. I've been working with vinyl, you know, since I was like 14 years old or something like that. I mean, like earning money from it, working in a record shop. But like, to be honest, recently I've got so lazy. Like I play MP3s a lot of the time and I feel really bad about that. So I'm kind of contradicting what I do every day. but. I do still have the kind of romantic and um, romantic feeling towards vinyl, you know, and a record label should release records, I think, not just data. But do, do you sell just like new stuff, old stuff, new used stuff. stuff? Just new stuff, really? Yeah. Right. Like we don't really... So it's, it's like the, it's harder. Yeah. Use is like... But there's some stuff like the, the scene for like, I mean, we don't sell drum and bass, but the scene for like drum and bass and dubstep is so vinyl based because mm. A lot of those guys are really anal about, you know, bass, which obviously, uh, if you're talking about formats, vinyl is the, the best format for, like, kind of bass response and stuff like that. So that stuff like dubstep, UK funky, and all that really still sells well on vinyl, but you like to see your techno in-house, it's kind of dipping a little bit. It's not doing so well anymore. When I was a teenager, like, I was into, like, um, really into stuff like DJ Sneak and old house DJs and like the main thing that got me into the music was really like Daft Punk. Um, DJ wise, I mean I used to like shit DJs like Fat Boy Slim and stuff like that. You don't want to ask me about what I was up to when I was a teenager because <laughs> it would be too embarrassing. Radio wise, I don't think, I, I didn't really used to listen to the radio. I just used to like steal my big sister's dance tapes and stuff like that. Um, making videos, um when you're not like a pop artist, it's quite like a hard task because it's like a requiring a lot of money or if you don't have the money, you need to find the real dedicated people that believe either into your music or into you or, you know, that you can drive them. And you need to find solution, you know, like video with no money, it's always a plan B, you know. Uh, but I've been um, luckily enough to achieve a lot of videos and find the young people that want to do it and they're like happy to do it and I think uh, in that kind of philosophy um, I have my input yes but also um, they need to be happy with the result they're like part of it it's not me just like hiring them it's more like let's work together so um, our pay is the final result it's not you know like me giving them a check it's more about like are we happy with the result yes so we can you know spread it